Thousands of students in Bullitt County are getting ready to go back to school today. I'm sure they are so excited. Excited. We're bringing <laughs> the energy for you if you don't have it. Mm -hmm. Centered in Shepherdsville, the district has more than 20 schools going back to class today. So Jim Stratman joining us now from North Bullitt High School, where you've gotten inside the school this morning, Jim, talking about all the exciting stuff they've got going on. That's right, Grace. I mean, I know you love first days of school. We love first days of school throughout the station. It is back to school season, and that's what's so exciting about a day like today. Here in just about 30 minutes or so, we're going to see students start to really start rolling into the building. They're going to be a mix of emotions. It always seems to be that way. And somebody who can speak more about that is Christy Lynch. She's the principal out here at North Bullet High School. That mix of emotions, it's very prevalent on the faces of these students when they come in, isn't it? Yes, they're excited. <laughs> yeah. So many of them are happy to see their friends again. Mm -hmm. Some of them are scared to death. <laughs> uh, it's, it's great. You just never know what you're going to get, but that's part of us. We like to greet them and make them feel welcome and comfortable and cared for. And hopefully by second period, we're nice and calm and, and it's going go. And there's so many different dynamics when it comes to high school specifically, too, because you have those freshmen who walk in wide-eyed and that's I think where you see some of that anxiety and then you have those juniors and seniors who come and been like been here done this before they're coming in real tired yeah. <laughs> because this is their first real early morning mm -hmm. but they're excited to be back what is the best part about a first day of school oh. in your opinion the potential you know the Nirvana song smells like teen spirit mm -hmm. it's really smells like teen potential here it's a new year they can grow they can connect they can connect with adults in the building they can connect with each other and they can try new things it's so exciting how important is that connection especially on day one? Oh, it is everything mm -hmm. relationships are everything and so what's really important to us is that relationship it's every eagle every day here from our cafeteria staff to our custodial staff to my to my regular teaching staff. They connect with the kids and the kids feel comfortable and safe and allows them to learn. And those kids will be filing into the school here very, very shortly. And you know what, Chrissy just said it. If you're looking for a theme song for today, Eric, maybe turn on a little Nirvana for your, for your morning drive into school. It smells like teen spirit. It smells like teen potential out here in Bullitt County. Hey, you're talking about my very, time very frame of music. Very, very optimistic of you, Jim. <laughs> Thank you. Bullitt County families relying on the bus should know a couple of things before heading out today. The district says you can use the Stop Finder app to locate your stop and track your bus in real time. It is, of course, going to be dark out, so students should make sure they're visible to drivers and be out at their stop early. For high school, get there at 6 a.m., so you're running a little late. For middle school, 7, and for elementary, 8. You can also download the Bullitt County Public Schools app to be notified of any transportation changes. Tomorrow, we are going to see the bulk of our Kentucky and districts return, including Hardin, Mead, and Shelby counties. Then on Thursday, JCPS students head back. We have got all of these dates listed for you on the whas11.com homepage. So